everyone, it's Lake Kate here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a part 6 for the beginner tutorials for creatures on Blender. Today, we're going to be focusing on how to export it into Roblox Studio. If you guys haven't checked out my part 1 and all the other ones I've done, I will leave a um, link at the top of the video for the playlist I've made for them. I will also be making after I finish all these tutorials once I have one more video to make on that before I finish these whole tutorials for the beginners. I will be starting a more advanced tutorial for Blender and making creatures. Um, here is a picture of one of the ones I've cr recently made for one of my models. As you can see, it's more advanced than what we have on the screen right now. That's because this one is for beginners and basically people learning how to make Blender tutorial stuff. I'm not Blender tutorial, Blender models. I kind of did mess around with the lighting here as well, so it's kind of different than the last time we left off. But if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, come like potatoes, and like this video if you guys want more Blender tutorial videos. And let's get right into the video. So first of all, let's go right back to this normal pipe which we left off with. I kind of added this to make it a little bit cool for the intro, so don't mind that. So basically, we have this model here. I made this in all my other parts of the videos. Um, so today we're going to be basically exporting it into um, Roblox. So what you got to do first is I'm going to go ahead and delete this block because I don't think it's needed. So after you delete the block, if you guys even put a block down there, I normally recommend it because if you guys want to even out the legs or the front legs as well, it's a very good useful thing to do. You don't have to export into Roblox, that's why I delete it after I'm finished. So basically what you can do is you can drag your mouse and have all of these selected or you can also hit A and it will select every model part that you have. Once you do that, you're going to go up here to hit file and once you do that, you're going to hit export. You want to make sure it's FBX only. If you do another one, it's probably not going to work because I don't do that. I have it for a tutorial video, but I can also name it something else. But I'm just going to keep it the name it has so far. You can always backspace and name it a different name if you guys want to be more organized. I suggest doing it if you guys want to be more organized. If you already have it saved though with the same name, you don't have to really worry about that. Now make sure you have selected objects checked because if you don't, it's going to ruin it and you won't have all the model parts there. So after that, all you gotta do is hit export FBS or FBX, yeah. And after you do that, let's go into Roblox Studio. Uh, make sure to just open whatever you guys wanna open. I would suggest doing like an empty place just in case. And we're gonna go ahead and go to Roblox Studio and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so now we are in a Roblox Studio and I'm basically on the other template. You can also use the um, brand new one that they have out. And basically what you want to do in this place is you want to go up and hit the explore and the properties. Make sure those are open as well. Next, you want to open assistant manager. Now it's going to say you want to start and publish this kind of game. All you got to do is hit the publish down there for it and basically name it whatever you guys want to. I'm going to name it for video because it's going to be for a video. And once you create it, it's that simple, and then you're going to have these pop up down here. You don't need the ter Terranian um, right there, so we're going to go ahead and X out of that. So as you can see right here, we have places, images, meshes, and packages, and audio. You want to go to the meshes, and you want to right-click on it. And as soon as you right click, it's going to say open and add meshes. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add a mesh. Um, and it's going to bring up these right here. I'm going to go ahead and go find my file that I had for it. Make sure to find the one that you named it. So if you guys don't name them, they're going to be a little bit weird. So I would suggest naming them like how I did here. Bridge, fun, fun, edible, long, log, rock, and then other stuff like there. And I'm going to go ahead and find my file. So now that I've found the file right here, I'm going to go ahead and click open. As soon as it's going to say open, you're going to want to hit apply. Do not hit apply all. And you want to make sure the first two are checked and not the last one. Then it's going to do this import of the files. It's going to make sure to input all of the blocks that it has or the parts that the creature has. Um, sometimes with the exporting, it does not export some of the parts. So you're going to have to go back in Blender, re-export it and etc. Um, until it works, it will work eventually. It sometimes does that, as you can see, no vertices found. You can um, just, I guess, re-export it if there's missing parts on it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this input all of the parts and then bring you guys back when it's done. 
Also, while I'm waiting, excuse the black um, bars at the side. It was like that because I was trying to make the explore and the properties and everything like that visible to the screen. But I don't know why my recorder wasn't doing it. So I'm just kind of doing what I forgot right now. Getting a new monitor in a few weeks or so, somewhere around there. And it's going to actually have the good properties I need for YouTube because this one I have right now is really blocky and bad. But that's okay. I'm going to be getting a new one soon. So expect a little bit of a... Um, improvement in my videos once I get that but let's wait until this is finished so now all of it is completed only seven of them was X'd out so let's hope that all of these actually made it into Roblox if not gonna have to export it again looks like we only have a little bit of a shortage but it doesn't matter sometimes sometimes it does that and yet you can have blocks still there and it won't be missing really okay looks like we have everything so far um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to color this guy now. Um, show some problems that have been popping up for me and exporting and how to fix them basically. And then this is going to be the end of the video so let's get right into it. Coloring is pretty simple for this creature. I will leave a link down below for what I use to make the, cre the creature's colors very accurate to the concept of the model. So make sure to go check that out if you guys really need to like have one of those downloaded or something like that. Well, it's not really downloaded, it's just a website that you go on. And as soon as you go on there, you can upload the file for the concept that you have. And then use the colors by um, basically copying pasting the numbers for the colors. So I have the very first color copied from the link. You basically want to look at it because right now, every time you upload a creature onto to Roblox Studio, it's going to look exactly like this, unless you use vertex colors, which I will get into that in another video. Basically teaching you guys, teaching you guys how to make and how to use the vertex colors. It's pretty simple and actually is really um, useful in some cases, but it's not the best. Okay, so what you want to do with the coloring is you basically want to select all the parts that you want to color one that one first color. I normally use the primary colors first, and then after I do the primary colors, I do other colors. So you're going to go ahead over here and hit colors, which will come up with the um, little numbers right there. You want to hit control V if you copy the um, color for it already. And once you do that, it's going to be colored like that. You can... Um, basically do every that the same way for everything else with the coloring so i'm gonna go ahead and add all of the parts where the primary color is some of the parts can be hard to color if you are not careful like if you click the wrong one but that's okay you can always color it and um fix it up if you need to there's a lot of parts in this i don't know why i did this so many like so many parts on it but as you can see this is basically the primary color let me uh look at the colors for the Hit real quick and then I'll be done with all the primary colors. Alright, so those are all the primary colors. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and color all the other stuff for it. And basically record that as well. And then I'll bring you guys back and tell you guys some things that might happen when you export. And how to basically fix them and etc. So let's get right into it.
Now I got the killing all done for this creature right here and as you can see there's a little bit of a problem right here so I'm going to basically explain some of the problems that will happen or occur occasionally with these importing into Roblox or whatever you want to call it um, and coloring it as well and having body parts of the creature like messed up or something. So the very first one I really want to talk about is um, having invisible parts okay so there is going to be sometimes when you export, there's going to be, say, like this part right here was invisible. Um, like it was just not there. You can always hit the double sided and it's going to show the entire thing. I don't know if it's going to do it to this. It's not. Okay. So if it's like not invisible, make sure to check to see if there's still a part there. If it is, make sure to go click it and make sure to hit double sided. If it doesn't work, that means it's not there actually, or it's just an invisible block or something. Um, other than that, it may it will appear if it's not and it's just a little bit weird because sometimes that happens during the importing and exporting. Now another problem is actually occurred on this creature right here. As you can see with this fin, it's kind of a little bit different color than the other ones. The simple fix for this is what I normally do is I have a little bit of plugins. I use Building Tools by F3X. I can put it in the description below to go check out that so you can use it. And it normally allows me to move this around freely. I normally put it on 0.1 so I can move it around freely and don't have to really worry about it. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit weird, so we're going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Oh, let's change that down a little bit. And then we'll keep fixing it until it's all the way fixed. And sometimes it takes a little bit if you're trying to get it perfect. As you can see there, now it's all fixed and we don't really have it. Well, we do kind of have it, but I can easily fix it. There we go. Now for the tools, if you guys want to have a really smooth move like this, you can just put it on 0.01 and it's going to have this really smooth effect. Now that I've used this tool, it looks fantastic. It doesn't really have any creases like it did last time. That's how I fix those kind of things. You can always, I think, export it back in or something around that. It could fix it, but if you guys have the um, Spotify a little bit too low, it's going to happen like this. So you want to try your best to make it high enough. As you can see, this one's kind of broken or something, so I'm pretty sure that I can't fix that at all. And this can happen sometimes. I'm thinking uh, either that or I just modeled it poorly because I wasn't the best modeler back then. As you can see there, it's kind of like bending in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next problem. So the next problem is something pretty simple that you can fix if you guys know how to do it. If you guys basically made like... um the creature spawn in and say the head let's just delete the head for example for a second the head was missing and it looked cursed like this well that is because the export probably had problems when you're using it and you want to make sure to fix that so the simple way to do that is just um, go back to blender select them all again do that process I showed you to export it into Roblox and then try exporting again if it doesn't work I'm not sure maybe you did something wrong in blender or you did something wrong in Roblox um, because it normally should fix after that. Sometimes it has a little bit of problems in the very first try. I've had that happen to me before and I did exactly what I just said and it fixed it. And oh my gosh, this looks terrible. <laughs> I don't like this model at all. But um, I think this is going to be it for the video. Anyway guys, this is it for the video. I will be making a part 7 um, in a few a month or so or something like that. I normally post these like every single month. And the next one will be basically rigging and everything like that. So if you guys want to watch it, make sure to stick around because that will be coming in around a month or a few weeks. Depends on when I have time to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you guys have fun making these models. Um, after I do these kind of tutorials, I'm going to start doing advanced modeling tutorials. And then after that, I will probably do some other simple stuff for Blender. I will still be making Blender videos since you guys enjoy those. But comment down below if you guys want more Blender tutorials um, after I I finished this one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!